one of the cooler places. Yeah, well, up to uh, areas of Sacramento, that's where we ha uh, they have that fog layer that sets up. So in the bay, they don't quite get to heat up if that fog layer sticks around. I've also been eating a lot of watermelon, which should count for some water, I think, at least a cup maybe. But uh, it is a, a beautiful summer day here. Notice the heat. This is a look at yesterday's high temperatures around this, the, the U.S. And you can see down in Texas, triple digit heat all the way to Arizona and uh, up to areas of Portland. We tapped into a little bit of the heat yesterday, 91 degrees. Now, as we head into today, we're still expecting another 90 degree afternoon. We'll see some heat today under that brilliant sunshine out there, but we're also expecting some cooler conditions the next several days. A little late week cool down on the way here. Notice this big dip in the jet stream that will pull in some cooler air from the northwest and likely drive our temperatures back down to the low 80s, possibly even upper 70s heading into the end of our work week here. We still remain dry uh, and we'll sit in the 80s over the weekend too. Then we start to build up the heat. Now notice that big ridge that is setting up here and all that heat spreading into the west and across the Pacific Northwest. So to, uh, next week, not tomorrow, next week, we're expecting a chance to really heat up here where we could see some of the hottest temperatures that we've seen all year here, maybe all summer long. Uh, again, strong high pressure ridging that will keep us dry, block out any weather systems, but will also boost our temperatures right into the mid 90s at least. And that's where we'll likely sit for a good handful of days. And within those days, there may be a couple of days there in the triple digit. So we're going to watch this forecast very closely. Next week is still about five days away, so there could be many adjustments in our temperatures, but most models here are locking into this heat setting up next week. Now, this is just one model we look at. Again, these numbers may adjust slightly, but by Monday, chance we're in the mid upper 90s. Tuesday, Wednesday seem to be the peak heat of, of uh, the stretch of days here where we could see some triple digit temperatures around Portland. So enjoy this weekend to come again. We're cooling into the low 80s as we head into our weekend. Just a beautiful weekend of summer temperatures. Then we really see that excessive heat setting up next week. Now, quick look at our summer heat count. So far, we've seen about six days in the 90s. Today, we'll add another. Uh, we've seen about 12 days in the 80s. Now, compared to last year, the 80s just um, just came in like a lion, and we saw a lot of days there in the 80s, several days in the triple digits as well. So we could add a few 100 degree days to the tally there this summer as we head into next week. Now, typical first 100 degree day on average has come on July 20th. That's today. So we are in that uh, time frame here where we tend to see our triple digit weather. So nothing unusual there. Last year we saw our, our first 100 degree day, 108 on June 26th, and that was the first day of our heat dome last June. Now, right now we're close to 80 degrees. It's beautiful out there. Our temperatures this afternoon will hover in the mid upper 80s to about the 90s today. So a lot of heat right now. A lot of spots already in the low 80s. They're out to Hillsboro, 81 degrees. Now take a look out towards the coast. Uh, we are seeing those breaks in the clouds. Lincoln City, beautiful. Beautiful out blue skies there 62 degrees. A quick look over Portland and you can see Mount Hood there in the back. So expect another toasty afternoon today. The coast will end up near the upper 60s, low 70s for the north end, maybe mid 60s down to Lincoln City, the gorge, central Oregon in the mid 90s today. A lot of heat out there and here's the seven day forecast. So you can see as we head beyond the weekend, Monday and Tuesday, that heat wave setting up right now in the mid 90s on Monday, triple digits on Tuesday. Again, these numbers will likely adjust a few degrees here and there, but we are uh, kind of seeing this heat wave setting up by the start of next week. So mm -hmm. it may be smart to prepare now, maybe find some air conditioners to set up or make some plans to cool down because it's going to be hot next week. Yeah, and I was in, I think it was Lowe's the other day and they had like right when you walked in, it had like there a sign are, a to like stack. ACs and fans. Right. So yeah, right. hopefully they, they have some in stock at these yeah, stores. Yeah, because we'll need it. We will. Okay, we'll be right back with one more check on your forecast.